I am a big fan of Shakespeare and the works of Shakespeare, but I am by no means a Shakespeare Puritan. The way works of literature or characters, the way they get longevity is their malleability. Is that a word? I don't know. Different interpretations of the same stories. Otherwise, it would just literally be telling the same stories the same way again and again and again. And there's no sense in that. I was a huge fan of The Hollow Crown, which was a BBC production a few years ago, which uh, adapted all all of Shakespeare's English history plays from Richard II through all the Henrys to Richard III. So when I heard about the Netflix original film The King, which is an adaptation of Henry IV part one and two and Henry V, and I heard that it was condensed to two and a half hours and each episode of The Holy Crown, which was based on a play each, was about two hours in of themselves, I was admittedly quite skeptical and put it off for a while. But having watched it, it's interesting. For one thing, it's not really a direct adaptation of the plays at all. It took the story or the broad strokes of the story of the plays and completely reinterpreted them and added alternate themes to it, which was an interesting approach. It was predominantly Henry V. The plot of Henry IV part one and two was pretty much done over in the first half hour. And I have to admit, while I'm a fan of Henry IV part one and two, because it's the the story of Prince Harry's growth and maturing from the wayward, immature lout that he was at the start of the story to the King of England and successor to his father. And I love a good character development story, but Henry V never really appealed to me because it was very much, I'm not going to say warmongering, but it's about the glories of war and patriotism, which have never really been my bag. Like, as I've said in a previous review, I'm a pacifist. But this version which starred Timothée Chalamet, Joel Edgerton, Ben Mendelsohn, Sean Harris, huge cast Robert Pattinson. This version sort of went in the complete opposite direction of that. It was a very contemporary take on the story. Henry V doesn't willingly necessarily go to battle with France at the beginning of the story. He's almost kind of hounded into it and it's very much an anti-war take, which for obvious reasons I very much appreciate it. Naturally, if you're looking for historical accuracy, look elsewhere because well, one is based on Shakespeare plays and Shakespeare plays are not historically accurate at all. But yeah, in service to this, the characterizations are completely different from the plays and quite deliberately so, from what I could tell. Timothée Chalamet as Henry V starts out not so much immature as sort of skeptical, I suppose. Falstaff is depicted as much more of a sympathetic character than he usually is. And a very somber tone, which was interesting. I don't know what I was expecting, really. The cinematography was amazing. It's definitely a feast for the eyes and some very good performances all round. But yeah, not quite sure what to make of this one. I'll have to sit on it, I suppose. Incidentally, if you're at all put off by like Shakespearean dialogue, there's no fear. Not a single drop of it exists in this version. But not even the more famous lines, like once more into the breach or anything like that is all completely gone. There's even a couple of fuck-